hi all in this video we will be looking at the problems that you will face when you use ss color space on your davinci resolve fusion as well as the solution for these problems so let's jump into this video mainly there will be two problems first one is that fusion viewer will not show the exact color there will be a color mismatch you can clearly see this when you switch from edit tab to fusion tab second issue is that whatever color related effect that you do on fusion there will be a color mismatch when you see that on the edit tab a simple example that i can share is that on the test that you are seeing on fusion viewer it is showing as pure white while in edit tab viewer the color is little bit dull so that's the second issue that you will face so now for the workaround fix first to fix the fusion viewer color mismatch on your fusion first disable the display led from the fusion viewers top right then on your node tree after the media out node add a new node called the ss transform on ss transform set input as ss cg and output as your output color space after this view your node on the fusion viewer and the color will be same as that on the edit tab and as this ss transform node is after the media out node we don't need to worry about this node causing issue to our composition so that's the first fix and for the second fix that is the fusion color showing difference in edit tab to fix this on your fusion node after the node that is showing the issue add the ss transform node on the ss transform node set the input as srgb and output as sscg that's it now if you check on the edit tab and fusion tab both the color will be same and if you want you can save these two ss transform node as macros so it will become very easy to add the node to your composition so that's all about this video guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe